Okay, so if you're taking any sort of algebra course or a math course with algebra, things like pre-algebra, certainly Algebra 1, uh, you're definitely going to have to uh, be able to solve a problem like this. It's not that difficult, but let me go ahead and read you the problem, and then, of course, uh, we'll talk more about it here in a second. It says a number times 4 plus 7 is 10. What is the number? So if you think you can answer this question, go ahead and put your solution into the comment section. I don't want to uh, talk uh, too much more about what to do here because uh, I want to give you an opportunity to figure this out. Of course, I'm going to go through the complete solution in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, all of you, even those of you that struggle in math can be great at math. You can be successful in mathematics, but what you need is great math instruction. So if you need help with your math course or a test, some sort of test that you might be studying for, like the GED, SAT, uh, teacher certification exam, or homeschooling, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I promise it will help you out. Also, if you don't have excellent notes, start taking better notes, but you can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get into this problem, and I'm going to, go, I'm going to uh, actually show you the solution here, and then, of course, we'll talk about how to solve the problem. Okay, so a number times 4 plus 7, what's the number? The number is 3 fourths. Okay, so how did you do? Well, if you got this right, let me go ahead and give you a nice, lovely, happy face and A+, 100%, and a few stars because you are doing awesome in math today. Nice job. But if you don't understand what's going on, don't stress. This is not that difficult. And really what we're talking about here is translating a verbal sentence. So right here we're talking about a sentence that we're using words. I mean, there are some numbers in here, but we need to translate this sentence into a variable sentence or an algebraic sentence, i.e. an equation. So that's really what uh, the kind of the, the main essence of this problem is. And then uh, let's go ahead and actually just start getting into it to see what's going on. All right, so here is the problem. A number times 4 plus 7 is 10. So we need to translate this into um, algebra. Okay, that's really the, the key to solving this problem. So let's just take this word by word or phrase by phrase. So a number. Okay, well, what is a number? We don't know what that number is. So in algebra, what we do is we use a variable. And a variable, like a variable x, represents a number, it represents a value. So a number is just some number x times means what? That's multiplication. So we'll just kind of think of that uh, for right now as a little multiplication operator. So a number times 4. So we'll have this right here, some number x times 4, okay? We're just kind of going through this sentence one by one, one word at a time. Plus, well, that's pretty uh, obvious. That is the plus operator. Okay, so a number times 4 plus 7. Now, anytime you see the word uh, is, you always need to think of the equal sign. So a number times 4 plus 7 is or is equal. Okay, so we'll just put the equal sign here. And, of course, that is 10. And we'll put that 10 down there. So what we've done is translate this uh, verbal uh, phrase or sentence into a variable phrase or sentence or an algebraic uh, equation. So what we have is x times 4 plus 7 is equal to 10. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit more. So this part right here, x times 4, well, in algebra, we don't use the little multiplication thing like this. This is x times 4. So we write um, multiplication this way, x times 4, but you never put the number behind the variable. So the uh, the way you really want to write this is 4x, okay? 4x is uh, 4 times a number, okay? So a number times 4 is the same thing as 4 times a number. So that's what you really need to kind of interpret right uh, here. So that might be uh, the most challenging part of this problem, if the, you know, if this problem is difficult at all, which I think it's not that difficult. But anyways, that's just me. Of course, if you're learning this stuff, uh, it's definitely going to seem, you know, a little bit complicated at first. But let's go ahead and take a look at the result of cleaning this up now. 
So instead of x times 4, we have 4x, and then the rest of this stuff remains the same. 4x plus 7 equals 10. So we are down to a basic equation, basic linear equation in algebra. So the next question you have to ask yourself is, can you solve for x? Because if you can solve for x, that's going to be our number. That's going to answer the question. So let's go ahead and get into that right now. Okay, so here is the work. Let me just kind of bring this up. So 4x plus 7 is equal to 10. First thing you need to do is subtract 7 from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add down in a column manner. So 4x plus nothing is 4x. Positive 7 minus 7 is 0. Okay, so those 7s go away. And then 10 minus 7 is 3. So we're left with 4x is equal to 3. And to solve for x, all we have to do now is divide both sides of the equation by 4. So x is equal to 3 fourths, as I kind of indicated in the beginning of this problem. All right, so I'm kind of, um, you know, somewhat quickly uh, going through how to solve this basic, uh, we call this a two-step equation. If you still have questions on this, that's a good uh, indication that you need to go back and review how to solve basic algebraic equations. So even if you didn't get this problem um, correct, if you know what you're weak on, you're like, oh, I don't understand this, I don't understand that, and I don't understand this, well, that's actually good. Okay, you have a list of things you need to work on, but in mathematics, uh, you can't just be like, I don't understand this, I hope I never see this again. It doesn't work that way, I can guarantee you, you're gonna see these same type of uh, skills that you're gonna have to know come up over and over and over again. So do the smart thing and address what you need to know. So let's go ahead and wrap it up with a couple suggestions here. If you need more help with basic algebra, um, I have a ton of additional videos on my YouTube channel. Matter of fact, I have like over a thousand plus uh, math videos from basic uh, math uh, to calculus. So you can find a ton of help there. Um, and then uh, I would suggest if you're at this level of math, probably check out like my pre-algebra or my Algebra 1 course. Um, you can find all that at my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.